I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? This is a request from Broad Stipe. Thank you so much for that. If anyone's requesting any type of reviews or re-reviews of movies or something else, topics, reactions, pretty much any type of video you requested, and send it directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And this is a request for high tension. I've seen this film before. This film does have merits. It's very gory. Does not cut away from the gore. Has some pretty decent practical effects. It might have been from the same effects guy that worked with Lucio Fulci. I mean there's some nice uh, decapitation, use of a circular saw, the acting. Especially this girl here. Not a bad actor or actress. It definitely has a brutal tone to it. And I remember when I first saw this, I thought, man, Alexander Aja, who I do like as a director, I love the Hills of Eyes remake. I loved Crawl. Crawl 3D wasn't big on, but I would rather watch that than this because while it had some nice bits of direction and I'm like, okay, brutal slasher film. Could be a capable lead. Maybe she should go after the killer with the saw. That'd be cool. Uh, for a finale. When people ask me. What is a movie that the ending ruined it for you? That is a proper example of it. If you like the ending. Cool. I did not. It was cheap jack horse shit. It was a cheap shot. I don't like cheap shots. And when the more you think about the cheap shot, it doesn't make any fucking sense. When you rewatch the film, like I did, it doesn't make any fucking sense. And people say, well, you don't get it. This is spoilers, so spoilers. You know, if I want to see a good French horror film uh, that doesn't have an ending that's not uh, that has an ending that's worth a shit, watch I watch Frontiers. That didn't have an ending that was bullshit like this. At the end of the film, you find out that no, uh, this guy who's this dirty ass truck driver, he's not the killer. That killer doesn't exist. It's a fitment of the imagination of our lead character to she's the killer. And she imagined herself hiding while her real self, which is in the form of the truck driver, is killing people. 
And before people go, you just don't get it. Yeah, I did it. It's about repression because there's an early scene where the lead girl, because the story is the lead and her friend, they go off to the friend's parents' place. And then while they're sleeping, she's in another room and she starts touching herself. And before that, she saw her friend pretty much naked. So you have this lesbian hidden tendencies and regression that because of this regressed state of her lesbian tendencies and love of her friend that hasn't been let out in any healthy ways. Thus, she became psychotic and has a split personality. And then of course, this is the form of a dirty truck driver because that's the male chauvinistic form of this dirty ass guy. Of course, that's the guy who would want the girl, this dirty ass guy who's ready to give blow jobs and shitty ass gas stations for a free ride. Well, fucking people in bathroom stalls. Ready to do that. You know what? I do get it. I wouldn't give a fuck to get it. You had a movie that was a brutal, gory slasher film that had an ending that was not fucking needed. That was not needed. Why did you make that ending? That's my question. It's not like we've... Yeah, we've never had a movie where... Oh, the lead guy's actually the killer. I would name some, but I'd be spoiling those movies too. And that'd make people mad. But there's been a lot of movies where... Oops. That person is the killer. I really, you know, again, I would say what they are, but you spoiled that fucking movie. So, I mean, people say, well, it'd be more creative to do it that way. No, it's not that creative. Again, I can mention a bunch of movies that have done it. You know what? I'll spoil this movie. I don't give a fuck. Secret Window with Johnny Depp. That did it. There's other movies of that nature that did it. It's not the first or last time that concept has been done. The reason I said it doesn't make any fucking sense is that when you watch the film again, you go, well, wait a minute. Like, there's a point where she is in the room with her friend and looks down and sees this little kid going to the cornfield. So what does the and it seems like the girl is like looking at her, reacting to her. So what? she's there but she's really down there so she or she was just imagining herself with the girl in the chains but really dealing with this kid like what how does that work so wait a minute this girl who is a bit of a skinny girl she had the power i guess from insanity pills the power juices of in you know crazy I just crazy gives you fucking superhuman strength to move a goddamn bookshelf so fucking hard and so fucking powerful that decapitates a fucking head. Literally, she's so powerful, she takes a grown man, pushes him into the stairwell, takes a bookshelf, has enough power to push the fucking thing so hard and so. and literally. Pops the head off like a fucking. As easy as a fucking. Piece of fucking paper. This scrawny ass lady did it. This woman. There's a St. Bernard dog attacking her. And she, she fucking killed this dog like it was nothing. So she had a car chase with herself. But like she's driving, but she's picturing having a car chase with herself. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, what was that whole thing at the beginning of the film where the goddamn truck driver is getting a blowjob from a disembodied head? This is before anything happened. 
This is before anything like who what's the disembodied head? Just off willy nilly, I'm like, hmm like I'm sitting here talking and meanwhile some guy that has a goddamn I don't know bunny costume is getting his fucking dick wet um in a fucking porn shop. But see, I'm not really here. That's me really doing it. I'm just, you know, Actually, that's the real me, and the the fake me is me imagining I'm doing a fucking review for fucking YouTube. I'm like, you know what? There are movies that have done that well. Or at least have more merit. Fight Club. Fight Club is a better movie. When I got to the ending, I went, oh, okay. That didn't feel as much of a cheap shot as this. It didn't. And yes, I'm sure you do go, well, Matt, the questions you're asking need to say the same questions for Fight Club. Maybe you got a point. But at the very least, the ending felt like, okay, I get what the director is going for, David Fincher. I, I just, it came off as clever and better written and better acted and better, it just came off as more interesting than this fucking thing. And it's just like, okay, the store scene where she's hiding, but then the trucker's talking to this guy. Oh, really? No, it's her talking. And like, so what? Later on, did she hit herself with barbed wire? Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's her killing her evil repressed side. Her evil repressed side and her good side is taking over and destroying. Well, it didn't last for fucking long because 10 minutes later, the repressed fucking evil part of her got back on the horse again. Again, the, the film doesn't shy away from the gore. You get your gore. The circular star... star. Yeah. The circular saw cool weapon to have. I wish it was that girl using it against the bad guy uh, an actual trucker. That would have been cool to see. You know, fuck his day up. I really do feel like if they just went, yeah, oh, it's more basic. You know what? Jaws is basic. Jaws is a fucking classic. I don't think this is a fucking classic. I think if you really follow through on the ending on a basic, simple premise and plot line, I do think the film will be more remembered as a classic slasher film. So people go, well, it is a classic. I never hear people talk about this movie. Maybe I'm out of the loop for that. But I never hear people bring up high tension. I think a portion of that is because of the ending. I think if you didn't have a stupid ending that was not needed, you have an ending that turned off half your audience. If you had the more typical ending, most of your audience would love it. 90% instead of... 40, 50 percent. It's a big margin to me. And it just. I just went, this is such a stupid bullshit fucking ending. Fuck this movie. And that's the sad thing, because there's not a lot of other stuff I can complain about. There's really not. Like I said, the lead girl's acting is not bad at all. It's well shot. The the gore doesn't cut away. Well done practical effects. It's ballsy. I mean, <clears throat> kills a dawn. A kid dies. You don't see it, but you see the aftermath that the kid was shot in the back in the cornfield. And instead you... It's not satisfying it just feels like a cheap shot. It doesn't feel clever. It just makes you question so many things. And that also takes you out of the movie. Even when you watch it again. It takes you out. Well okay so. I'm, this big chase scene. Is pointless. Because she's never in danger. Because it's herself. 
And it's not doing anything where you can look deeper into purgatory, the in and out of uh, heaven and hell and the psyche of the mind and none of that deep stuff to be put into the place of this movie. You can't look at a well, I can't say you can't. There are people that will. But to me, I don't see any philosophical notions you really get into. Not to me. Jacob's Ladder? Yes. Fight Club? Sure. This movie? No. I don't. And that's why I hate this fucking movie. And I think the director did much better work. The Hills of Eyes remake I love. It's my favorite fil film he's done. Crawl, I enjoyed. Horns was interesting. Prana 3D, I have issues with it. I'd rather watch that than this. So, this might be the film I hate the most from the director because of the mirrors. I like mirrors. I almost forgot about mirrors. T for Seven, I like mirrors. This is probably the one I hate the most because the one that pissed me off the most because the ending fucks it up. It fucks it up. If you disagree, that's cool. That's just my opinion. So with that said, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.